As an ex-T-Mobile employee, one of the most difficult concepts to explain to my customers was the concept of data allotment. They would sign up for an unlimited plan and use it for 15, 20 days, and they would come back to the store saying that their data plan has gone down in speed. They get no data plan whatsoever. And I would be like, you're on the unlimited plan. So you just log in on the computer, check your data plan, and it's unlimited. And then the next thing you check is to see how much bandwidth they've used. And it turns out they've used over 100 gigabytes. The one thing you should know is that every time you sign up for a data plan, whether it's through an ISP or through T-Mobile, for example, uh, there might be data caps. These internet companies are not able to provide you with fully unlimited internet. And what they do and how they get around it is that they tell you that it's unlimited internet. And what happens after you go over your allotment, they deprioritize. They, they drop your speed down to like, we're talking 2G speeds. We're talking like 128 kilobits per second. Like it is the case with some data providers. Some of them are not doing this. Like home internet providers aren't really doing something like this. If you're with Spectrum, Verizon, or Optimum, yada, yada, yada. But some of them like AT&T Fiber, for example, or Cox, as you can see, there's actually a 1.2 terabyte limit. Same thing applies to T-Mobile. If you look at it, like T-Mobile 5G Home, if I can point with my finger, as you can see, there's actually a 1.2 terabyte limit. So you get a home internet connection and then you are still limited. So be careful downloading uh, movies and be careful streaming lossless uh, Spotify, for example, because you will blow through your data. It was really obvious to me as an employee, but as a customer, I understand how a lot of people might be confused because if it says unlimited, it should be unlimited high speed, but not unlimited high speed and then low speed.